worked with James DeMonaco on the Purge movie. Yep. Uh, and then you, you, I guess you worked on with him again on Once Upon a Time in Staten Island. Well, I did two Purge movies with him and then Once Upon a Time in Staten Island, which is a, a, a complete 180 degree departure from, it's a real, it's an amazing film. It's another film that got caught up with COVID. I can't wait for people to see this movie. What can you say about it? Because obviously this is, uh, I, I guess it, it must be autobiographical for him. You know, I, I think part of it is, and then he, it's a family drama surrounded by this idea of Staten Island where he still lives and, and what Rocky, the Rocky movies represented in the eighties to all the people in Staten Island, the Italian and Irish Americans, right? And, but it's, what's inside of it is this, this broken little family that goes on this journey and they each, each one of them have, have this, this revelatory change by the end of the film and growth. And Naomi Watts, this is now my third movie with her. She's so amazing. She, uh, to me, she's the best actress that I've ever worked with. Uh, and Bobby Cannavale is great. Uh, DeMonico, it's, it, people will understand that how talented this, this guy really is. And we are talking, him and I, about another Purge movie. What? Yep. For sure. He reached out to me not too long ago and, and Sebastian, the producer, and they're like, what do you think? And I'm like, what do you, what do you think? And they're like, we talked to Universal and they want to see Leo Barnes and, and you know, in, in the fifth purge, if, if we can come up with something great. I said, I'm in. I'm, I, I do it in a heartbeat. I was going to say, I think there's another purge movie tentatively coming out this summer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it'll hit the theaters. But. Yeah. I mean, at this point, who knows? Yeah. Um, with, are you a bit surprised at, because the Purge movies, I mean, listen, people, all these people talk about making sequels to so many different movies. You never know what's actually going to get popular. Then you have a franchise like The Purge, which is, you know, they've made, what, five movies, six movies, whatever the number is. Are you, what do you think it is about The Purge? And oh, yeah. I mean, he hit the button. He, you know, he connected to the zeitgeist. It's, you know, what would you do if you could get away with anything? for 12 hours. It's, listen, it's, what would you do with a million dollars? It's one of those scenarios. It's everyone thinks about it. Well, if I had a million dollars, I would, well, if I could kill this guy and get away with it, it would be, I would kill. And, and so everybody can relate to it. And it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's hyper realism, the way he cuts, you know, the way he shoots it, it's almost cartoonish. It's, uh, they're fun movies. They're just, and people, people, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I think that Purge Anarchy movie is, to me, one of the coolest, like, B movies that I've seen in a long time. And Forbes magazine wrote a, a great article about the importance of the Purge franchise and how it relates to what we're going through in the world, not in the, our country, in the world. So, I, I, I you know, I, I think they're, I think they're, uh, it's an important thing. It's an important franchise. And so I, in a minute, I would do another one.